in Zoho Desk, you can set up a, um, a knowledge base where all articles uh, will be published, um, which can be accessed in your ticketing system as well as uh, online if you publish your knowledge base online. Um, to publish an article, first we need to talk around the structure in which the articles are going to be. The example here um, shows a little bit of a structure where you can actually put knowledge base articles. Um, how to set it up? You go to manage, that is under KB for knowledge base. Go to manage and go to organize. Underneath organize, you can first see the main category. Um, as far as I can tell, there's only one category per department. So in this case, um, we'll just keep it as products. You can change that name here based on uh, with the little um, uh, edit icon in the form of a pencil. And if you click on the little triangle here at the right uh, at the right side, you can see the sections underneath your category. Um, every category will have a section general. You can um, disable that one as well, so that will be gone. Um, and you can add new sections underneath there. So let's add a section here, which is, uh, let's call it product C. And a new section here is added. Underneath each section you can choose, you don't have to, to add subsections. Um, once a subsection is there, you must specify it in the article. If the subsection is not there, then you can't specify it in the article. Um, if you have only one subsection, then it adds no other value than just setting your system up for later on when you may add a second or a third subsection. Um, you can make a hierarchy of three layers here. So you can add a subsection. Uh, let's call that just one. And you can add a sub subsection on that one. Let's call that 1.1 and 1.2, etc. Um, obviously, your naming uh, convention should be uh, consistent with what you want to achieve with your sections and subsections. Um, that's about the structure.